absolute value linear function. So what we're looking at now is a linear function that involves an absolute value. Now for a linear function dealing with an absolute value, uh, what it really looks like is we've basically got our y equals and you could have mx plus b, you could have all kinds of different versions. I'm going to look at a straightforward one for right now, just the absolute value of x minus 2. Now I want to show you how this works, and then I want to show you sort of the answer of what this really looks like. So I think it makes more sense if we understand this concept that the absolute value will only allow positive solutions to come out. That means that these y values will only be allowed to be positive. Okay, no matter what goes in here, our y value will come out positive. Okay, so I think that's important we start off with that because when we look at this, I'm going to show you what this looks like if we just sketched out. Oops, let me go back and fix that. I'm going to put a minus 2. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you really quickly what that looks like if I just graph that line. And we're just going to sketch it. We're not going to graph it super nice, but I want you to just see an idea. So this one tells me I'm going to cross at the point 0, negative 2. That's my y-intercept. So 0, negative 2. So somewhere down here. And my slope is going to be 1. So it's going to go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. It's going to come basically right around here. And then I would just go ahead and connect those up and make my line. Now, the problem with that is if this is an absolute value, nothing down here. This is like a dead zone. There's nothing allowed down here because we can't have negative answers. So what happens to this part is it realistically hits that spot right here and bounces off. It bounces back into the positives. So let's take a look at what this looks like when we graph or sketch the absolute value piece of this. So we're still looking at that same graph. Still looking at the same sketch that we did over here. So I've got, I'm just going to sketch out some really quick numbers for us. So we would have gone down here, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. We would have gone through that point. Okay, we would have gone through the point 2, 0. We can find that. We could solve for that later. But for right now, let's just go ahead and put that point in. So I know my graph goes this way. But now what happens is because I can't go down, I can't go into that negative, rather than going following that same pattern, I'm going to go ahead and go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. And so my graph is now going to go this direction. And I'm going to have a V shape. That V shape comes from the fact that as it approaches the negatives, it bounces off and goes back towards the positive Y values. So an absolute value linear function graph will always sort of be in that shape of a V. Okay, it will be in that V shape because it's hitting and bouncing off going back towards the positives.